Hey, welcome, Junior Bible Class, to the first reading of the Screw Tape uh, Letters written by C.S. Lewis. So I'm going to simply, in this video, read the preface, provide some brief comments, and close it out. And then the next video will be a reading of the first letter from Screw Tape to the Protégé. Okay, so the preface says, I have no intention of explaining how the correspondence which I now offer to the public fell into my hands. There are two equal and opposite errors into which our race can fall about the devil. So comment here, he is talking about the spectrum. He's talking about where people can fall on their belief or disbelief in demons, okay? So he says, one is to disbelieve in their existence altogether. So there are people who don't think that the spiritual world is real, and they simply say, ah, demons and devils don't exist. The other is to believe and to feel an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. So you can go from a disbelief in demons all the way to an excessive, even unhealthy approach to believing and talking and discussing about demons. They themselves are equally pleased by both errors. So he's saying the demons, the devil, is pleased by the error or fault of the human that says, oh, no demons at all, and the demon is also pleased with the error and fault of the human that says or thinks way too much about demons. Um, so it says, the sort of script which is used in this book can be very easily obtained by anyone who has once learned the knack, but ill-disposed or excitable people who might make a bad use of it shall not learn it from me. So he's kind of warning the readers. He's like, if anybody learns or picks up bad habits from reading this book, it's not my fault. So that's C.S. Lewis being C.S. Lewis. Readers are advised to remember that the devil is a liar. Now, don't forget that because this material is all about how Uncle Screwtape is writing to the protege and, and just trying to convince him to tempt uh, Christ followers. And so really nothing in this book, he says, should be taken as truth. Why? Because the devil is a liar. And that's picking up on some comments of Jesus as he was talking to the religious leaders. He says, you are of your father, the devil, and he is the father of lies, talking about Satan. So not everything that Screwtape says should be assumed to be true, even from his own angle. I have made no attempt to identify any of the human beings mentioned in this in the letter. So he's he's also kind of warning his audience and saying, okay, I'm not trying to pick and choose people around me. Um, so don't try to fill in the blanks uh, if you knew if you knew him back in that day. Um, so he says, in conclusion, I ought to add that no effort has been made to clear up the chronology of the letters. Number 17 appears to have been composed before rationing became serious. But in general, the diabolical method of dating seems to bear no relation to terrestrial time, and I have not attempted to reproduce it. The history of the European War, so he was going through a very tumultuous time as well, the history of the European War, except in so far as it happens now and then to impinge upon the spiritual condition of one human being, was obviously of no interest to screw tape. So interestingly enough, he was going through a very hard time in his life, as well as his country and the entire world. Um, it said, you know, the most beautiful of diamonds are pressed in the hardest of um, circumstances. And so my prayer for us as Christians, like during this time, as we're going through really hard, tough struggle of a pandemic, racial tensions that and, and political issues that are tearing our country apart, and now just recently in the West recovering from the fires and the smoke, my prayer is that as it says in scripture, we find the opportunity to allow these trials, these tribulations to mold us and shape our character to follow Christ all the more. And as the trials and tribulations and circumstances that produce suffering in our life, as they come our way, my prayer is that we don't give in to temptation so easily. In the scripture it says, submit yourselves to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. God, I pray that as we study, um, even C.S. Lewis here, that we would not give in to the schemes of the devil, but that we would submit to God and resist the devil, and as a result, the devil would flee from us. And I think in that environment, in that situation of the Christ follower submitting to God,
It is going to produce an environment where, therefore, we're able to communicate effectively the gospel to people around us, friends and family. And so I'm excited to jump into reading this with you guys. I hope it's going to be a good thing for you to walk through as well. God bless you. We'll see you next time for the first reading.